Recently, I shared my day with makeup magician and stylist Neil Ramato with you, and it was easy to see why he's become a celebrity in his own right. Having Neil and his team create a look specifically for me was an incredible experience, so we asked him if he wouldn't consider doing a masterclass, especially for us. Neil's a real honey, so he shared some essential tips in honor of Women's Month. Makeup artist Neil Ramothar is the go-to face enhancing specialist for many celebrities, including international superstar Priyanka Chopra. The word artist in his job title is well-deserved as he applies technique to achieve an individual vision rather than having a one-size-fits-all approach. We invited 10 girls off our social media for a pampering session, also to view the latest trends for the next season. Uh, just uh, get together with a whole bunch of ladies that are fans of mine. Neil welcomed the 10 lucky ladies who were invited to select some goodies before settling down for the class. Hi guys, welcome to the class. Thank you so much for coming in today. Everybody knows I'm Neil. This is Miriam, she's gonna be my model today. We're gonna start off on the latest trends for the next season. The first thing that you need to understand is before you do any sort of makeup, you must be properly hydrated. What we're doing is we're using a hydrating moisturizer on her skin and we're doing a very thin layer over her skin. You'll notice that I'm not blended down to her neck yet. And the reason why I'm not blending down to the neck yet is because this area of your body, the temperature is different to your face. When you match your face to your neck, to your chest, you're gonna take the two colors that you used on the face and mix those two colors to match the two colors of your neck and your decolletage into one. Just putting lines, as some of these makeup artists are doing, on social media, just putting a line on your nose and a line is not contouring. It's reshaping and understanding the face. So shape, curve, shape, curve, instead of dragging it down. This brush over here is easier to contour. You cannot make a mistake with this, and I'll show you how easy it is. It's literally gonna take me two minutes to contour the, the jawline. In a circular motion, beat it into the skin. The trick with contouring is that everything has to be neat. Can you see that? Now, you gotta move from matte foundation to illuminated foundation to matte contour, and then now we'll go back to illuminating and silking up the skin again. It's using a fan brush. So this is the T and the V. So you're gonna go T, and this was the V. I'm literally just moving in a circular motion and I'm not even being neat about it. So we're gonna take the 6SS brush now with no product on it, and we're gonna go over the eye again. So this is gonna just blend it out. It's like the eraser. Neil then focused his attention on detailing the eyelids and eyelashes. You should be using a concealer on your eye, never a foundation. Your foundation should actually never go around this area here because that will cause pigmentation, it causes dark circles, and if your foundation has a high concentration of lead, it can also create bags. When we look at a face, we start with the eyes, but the appearance of the mouth is no less important. I like a glossy lip. I know that matte is in right now, but I'm not really feeling matte. And this is look one. All right. My next client has flawless skin, right? But what we're gonna do with her is we're going to focus on making her eyes look bigger. What we're doing is we're using a medium toned foundation, which is not really her color, and a darker toned foundation, which is also not really her color. Mixing the two will get her to the color that she needs to be. You'll see how beautiful this is gonna look because for me, her skin tone is the best. I wish I was this color. Outlining the eyebrows to define their shape was the first step in the process of increasing the apparent size of the eyes themselves. Using a matte colored uh, eye over her is going to look very uh, washed out. So you want to create as much illumination as possible on her eye. When it comes to tips for the eyes, I feel like you should always have a few pigments on hand. Pigments are refined eyeshadow in a powder form. But that will make any eyeshadow pop. It can also be used to just illuminate the eye and make the eye look bigger than it really is. Throughout the process, Neil is very careful to build up the effect rather than overdoing it. What we did was we created an illuminated eye 
with a full curled uh, lash. We mascaraed that. We created a full brow for her. We then created uh, her focal point, which is uh, her lips. And we contoured and we highlighted a very little. But all in all, it's a unified look. And it's actually, I think she looks amazing. Makeup is there to help build confidence and help you with your day-to-day -day life and build you as a person to feel better about yourself. Neil is just amazing and I feel so honored to be selected to share this experience with him. I feel great. I feel like a million bucks. Thank you very much for the experience.